In this part, we are going to get the doo-doos from the fire store. So we back to our project, and inside these config files, we are going to import the get fire store from Firebase fire store, and then we set the constant db is equal to get fire store, and then we export this db and save it. Now we are going to create the to do list. So we go to the so we go to the root folders and create a folders called components. And inside these folders, we create a to do list.js and then we type underscore rafce to create this component. And then first, we are going to add the use state and then we set the to dos and set to dos. And then we use the use effect to get the fire base. And then we use the use effect to get the corrections from the fire store. So we type use effect. And inside this use effect, we use the corrections to get the corrections, which named as to do's. And then we use a query and get this correction and order by the timestamp. And at last, we also used on snapshot to listen to the change of the fire stores and then we set the to-dos list and the to-dos including the to-do object and the to-do object has the detail timestamp and also the title and we also add the id and which is the document id at here and we also we format the timestamp because the timestamp object of the firebase is not easy for understand for the JavaScript, so we have to convert this to, to date and get time in order to convert to this timestamp that the JavaScript understand. We also add the question mark here because the timestamp is at a certainty, so it may not have the timestamp yet, so we use this question mark to prevent the problems. So we have to import the use date and also import the use effect, and also we have used the corrections and also query the on snapshot and also order by so i think we already has all we need so we have to use the map function to list out all the to do's so we use to do's map dot to do and then we list out all the to do by using the diff and we paste the to do dot title and then we have the id or the key is equal to the to-do.id. So after we already created the to-do list, we have to import to our index. So we back to the index, and then we delete all of this. And instead, we will use the containers from the material UI. So we type container, and then inside this, we paste the to-do list, and then we remove all of this unnecessary import and then we save it and type young dev and then we go to localhost 3000 we see the initial state is not defined so we back to the to-do list and because we haven't changed this to empty array and we also do not have the db so we back to here and we have to import the db from our config file so let's see what happened now we can see the fishing and also the it apple which is inside the Firestore. And since we are using the on snapshot, so you can see in localhost, we have fishing and also eat apple. And now if we go to change something, you can see it will change instantly. So it also said go fishing. And if we go to add one more document, and we have the title and just type some random text. And we choose the timestamp to be the latest one. So for example, we choose next year and type the timestamp and save it. Now you can see it on the top of the list. And if we now go to delete this, we will delete instantly. So this is how to read the to-do.